Hello! Welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to teach you how to make your own canvas from scratch. Yeah, take a closer look here. Mm hmm. I made this on my own. Let's just get to it. These are the things we're going to need today. Newspapers, planter covers, some outdoor house paint, a big brush, a picture frame, and a staple gun and some staples so that newspapers planter covers outdoor house paint big brush a picture frame and a staple gun we start by putting down two layers of newspapers the bottom layer is to protect our table the top layer becomes part of the canvas make sure the area is much larger than your frame Next up, we lay over one layer of planter covers. Now get your frame in position. We take our big brush and make measurements like this on all four sides of the frame. We want our material to be able to reach around our frame, so it has to be a much larger surface. The bigger the better. Now we start covering our canvas in paint. The material will crease and crumple, but you can smooth it out afterward like this. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. I usually leave the creases and crumples in, but that's a personal preference. Make your own decisions in the process. Uh, when we've covered our materials with paint, it has to dry for 24 hours. The next day we get out our scissors. I forgot to mention scissors up top, sorry about that. We cut out around where paint met with materials, getting the largest surface possible. Remember, the bigger, the better. Now flip the canvas and put another layer of planter covers. We're going to repeat our process on the back side, in order to strengthen our canvas and protect the vulnerable newspaper. Since this is the back side, we don't need to worry about getting everything so smooth this time around. Just cover it all up with paint, Make sure the frame fits and let it dry for another day. When the canvas material is ready, we need to strip our frame. Lay it onto the canvas and make sure that the white side of the frame is facing up. Measure out how much you want to cut. Remember to always take more than you think you need. Now clear the area, put down your canvas with the back side facing up and position your frame so that the material reaches over all four of the frame sides. When your frame is in position, start by stapling material to one side, holding the frame firmly in place. Sometimes a staple won't go all the way in. You can use your staple gun to push it firmly all the way into the frame. With the first side done, move on to the opposite side, stretching the canvas as much as you can when you staple it in. We don't want a limp canvas. Now that two opposite sides are done, we move on to the other two. This time we will need to cut out and fold the material so it fits on our frame. Think of it like wrapping a Christmas present. Fold in the corner, find the excess material at the top of the frame and cut it off. With that, you can wrap it smoothly around the frame. Do this for each corner before you staple each remaining side.
wrap it over staple generously. Sometimes staples might come out all messed up like that. We simply take our scissors, pull them out and try again. Our staple guns get jammed from time to time. Just remove the jammed staple and move on. Repeat the process for the opposite side. Fold. Cut out excess of both the corners. Then staple all the way. And remember to stretch the canvas when stapling. And there we have it. Our very own painting canvas made from scratch. You can start painting on it straight away. In a future video I will show you some of my techniques and theories for painting. But here is an impromptu start of a red painting with some black markers. Thanks for watching!